Haim, uh, before we get into some of your opportunities, I loved a stat that you guys put out there. I, I mean, it blew my – I should have had it as my random but interesting. You guys have dug back basically 100 years and found that 4% of, of companies and technologies have created 100% of net wealth in that time? Yes, since 1929, the last 90 years, 4% of companies have created 100% of the net wealth in the United States. 50% um, of companies have created uh, more than 50% of the net wealth. Actually, five companies only created 10% of the net wealth. And there were always the disru disruptors, those companies that come with the innovative technologies, innovative information and ideas. Those are ones that always created the value added. That is incredible. I mean, I, I, you know, we don't have time to obviously walk through all of them, but your report now is trying to highlight some of the technologies that are emerging now that I assume would be part of those four percenters for the next 100 years. Yes, so we have mapped 15 technologies which right now we believe are going to be the next big thing. This time around, we are just not waiting. You know, the rate of acceleration of technological advance that we're seeing is unprecedented today. So what seems 10 to 15 years down the line are actually going to be way faster. So we have mapped 15 of these technologies that we believe are going to be the next big thing going forward. Anything from quantum computing, which is actually going to happen in three to five years' time, deep sea mining, nanotechnology, nanosatellites, for example, nuclear fusion, 15 out of those which we think can, could transform the world. Yeah, I want to focus on that one. That, that was kind of our tease. Deep sea mining. We talk about rare earths. In fact, deep teas next week. I'm going to be doing a big feature here on rare earth on CNBC. I'm not going to the bottom of the ocean, but apparently the bottom of the ocean is where a lot of the stuff is that we need. Yes, the bottom of the ocean have more minerals than land. Uh, if we just, for example, take cobalt, which is key for electric vehicles, for batteries, for smartphone batteries, there are three times more, more uh, cobalt in the bottom of the ocean rather than Earth. And it's actually, in some cases, under new technologies, could be cheaper with less emission to come and take it out. This is the only sector, by the way, which regulation went far in advance, even before we started mining minerals from the bottom of the ocean and start spreading up the rules and engagement rules. So uh, this could be a big revolution going forward. You know, uh, Brian, in the next uh, in the next five years, there are going to be roughly 12 million EVs all over the world. 12 million is 12 million batteries. All of them will require a lot of cobalt. The deep sea could actually give the solution for those. Well, you know, listen, we, don't, we could have an hour and still not get into all of this. Hi, Israel. I wish we had a lot more time. You know the vagaries of television. I guess your clients can reach out. There's 14 more we did not have time to talk about, but fascinating read. We really appreciate it. We'll see you, I guess, uh, next time. Good stuff. Hi, thank you.